Hello everyone, so in this video tutorial we're going to go through how to update the text within the Streamium theme. So we've had a couple of people ask how do you update the read reviews, how do you update the watch trailers, and how do you update um, all the other texts throughout the theme. So you can use this to translate the whole theme, but we're just going to show you how you can update certain things here and here. So we're going to use a plugin which is called uh, Loco Translate. Um, it's a really good plugin uh, for functionality. It saves you having to go in and update and um, change the edit files with PoEdit, but I can also show you how to do that if it's something that you want to do. But what you can do is once you've got the plugin installed, you can simply head over to the plugin management, click on Loco Translate, and then you can see you'll have, if you go down to themes, it will show you the S3 Bubble Pro theme. So also to note, make sure you've got the latest version of the theme installed. So what we've done here is we've added, actually let's delete this and we'll just start a new one from scratch. You can start a new language we're going to be doing the United States for English and we wanted to store it in this language location so you might need to create this language location if it doesn't exist um, but this will be in your WP content languages loco themes and then your stream theme don't put it in the um, streaming theme folder because when you run an update you will lose your translations okay so make sure you put it in a, a different folder maybe you could even put it on the systems folder okay but put it in this folder is the best one um, I'm going to start translating so you can click sync so let's say we wanted to change read reviews. We can come in here and let's filter translation to read reviews. And then we can put um, like our page. Okay, so just change it to something different. So now if we head over and we go in, you can see it says like our page. So you can change all the um, text within the streaming theme this way. Um, so one thing to note, one of the reasons we came to this uh, to um, show you how to do this was someone wanted to change the text on the join now button on the home page. So we just we haven't got a join join now page on this theme on the demo at the moment. We'll just add one quickly. So I'm just going to put join now and then put please have fun using um, viewing our videos or something. Okay, so we'll go to the document, we'll set a featured image. Let's just go ahead and add an image, set the featured image. And then what we'll do is we'll schedule, and we're just going to update, okay? So we'll go ahead and view this page. Okay, so we've got the join now, and that is our page there. So that's fine, that's actually correct. Okay, so if you go in and see this, it's not wrong. It's just not serving the correct template, because we need to go in and just close this, and under templates we want to go to the join template okay so make sure you set the template I'll leave that in and then you should see the join page now okay so this is what people will see when they come to your website they won't actually be able to see the website they'll have to join now or sign in okay so let's say you want to change the join now for a month so let's go ahead scroll down go to local translate go to our themes and then go into our translation so this is the translation that we're using sync and so I've been joined free for a month. So we'll just put in sign, sign up, please, or something similar. Click save. Okay. And now you can see it's changed to sign up, please. So you can change all the text this way. You can add new translation files. So you could come in and you can see we've got different files for German, Spanish, and you can come in and add those files. And if you wanted to change the actual whole, translation of the theme then you can do that under general and then you can change this to any of the um, settings you want basically so French Spanish any of these okay and then that will change the file throughout that you use within the local translation tool okay so that's how you change text throughout the theme um, any questions drop us a line at support at s3bubble.com